Can't close your sales calls? Feel like you're just not good at selling your services as a coach? In this video, I wanna show you why you're not closing your sales calls and what to do about it. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when new episodes become available here on my channel every Wednesday. All about helping you go from passion to profits in your coaching business. Hi there coach, it's Carolyn here and today I want to talk to you about sales. What if you could close two, three or four times more clients into your coaching business? What if you could have more fun on your sales calls? But what if all of that is not happening for you right now and you're feeling stuck? What if you hate sales? What if you dread sales conversations? What if you just can't get people to say yes to your products and services? Well, I'm here to help you and show you how our clients go from zero to full-time income in their coaching business in as little as six months. We do that by giving them lots of strategy, systems, and tactics, but also the proper sales training so they can enroll the right clients in their coaching programs. Let's talk about the six possible reasons that you might not be closing your sales right now and what you can do about it. Reason number one is when you don't believe in yourself. A lot of new coaches struggle with belief. They struggle with not having the experience that gives them real grounded belief in what they can do for people. Maybe that's you right now. And maybe you are trying to convince people to buy from you instead of acting from a place of real conviction and real belief in what you can do for people and the results they can have with you. It's not your fault, especially when you're brand new, you have not had the experience and the time it takes to build up that belief, but you have to start working on that right now. Think about it. When you're acting from a place of convincing people, you're trying to push them into your program. You're trying to tell them all the great things about it and why they should be buying it right now. And you're coming across a little pushy, a little sleazy, a little salesy perhaps. And that's not what you wanna do on your sales calls. When you're talking from a place of true belief and you know that you have this client's best interest in mind and at heart and you want the best for them, that comes across on a call and that will make them feel like, wow, this person really wants me to succeed. This person really believes in their program. They believe in what they can do and they're doing it for the right reasons. So ask yourself, what beliefs do I have around my products and services? What do I believe to be true? What results can I create? How excited am I about my programs? How enthusiastic am I about my services? And how does that come across on my sales conversations? Because when you try to convince people, you most likely will not sell. The second issue you might be dealing with is not going deep enough into your prospect's pain points and not being able to hold real space for real emotions. When you're not going deep enough on your sales conversations, your prospects will not see those real reasons for why they should be working with you. They may only see surface level reasons and those may not be enough for them to say yes to a premium price. So especially when it comes to high ticket selling and premium packages, you wanna be able to go to the deepest level with your prospects and talk about the things that really matter to them to get them to take action and see the importance of investing in you and your services. In addition to that, you wanna be able to magnify pain. And that's not to make them hurt even more, that is important to show them how important it is right now to take action for them. So ask them, what happens if you don't do this right now? What will happen to your family? What impact will this have on your career? How will you feel about yourself in 10 years from now if you don't take action right now and change this? Will you magnify the pain and show them what the consequences are of not moving forward right now? The third problem you might be experiencing on your sales calls is coaching too much. New coaches and experienced coaches are notorious for what? coaching on sales calls. After all, you're a coach. So, right, nobody can blame you for coaching, but it's not the time to coach on your sales calls. There's two things that can happen when you coach on your calls. The first issue is that you coach someone too much and you actually give them a band-aid solution and they feel better temporarily, which makes them think that they're okay and they're all set and they don't need you right now. 
So if you're giving them too much coaching and potential solutions on your sales calls, they will not invest with you. The other issue you might run into is when you try to coach them, but you can't find a solution that seems feasible or reasonable to them. You're trying to find answers and you're trying to give them solutions, but in the end they feel even more confused and they feel frustrated because now you're running out of time. You try to coach them for 60 minutes on a big issue that's been with them for a long time and they feel even more trapped, even more lost and unsatisfied at the end. So as you can tell, coaching on a sales call is never a good idea. Either you coach them too much and they think they're okay for now and they go away, or you don't coach them enough and you literally can't find a solution on this one call and they're frustrated and they think the call was not as valuable as it could have been and they will not invest with you because of that. It's always a much better idea to talk to your prospects and leads about what's really going on, the pain points they're experiencing, where they want to be, and then talk about that overall strategy and what needs to happen for them to change instead of trying to find solutions and coaching them right now. Let's talk about building value. It's another big problem that leads you to not converting and not closing on your sales calls. Many new coaches stay away from building real value on their calls. And that means they stay away from really selling themselves. As a coach, you need to tell people why your services are amazing. You need to tell them why they should be investing with you. You need to tell them your experience and how many clients you work with, your certifications, your background, your education, what's so amazing about your programs, the results you've created, and so much more. Don't be shy to sell yourself. People want to know why they should be buying from you. Think about all the credibility factors you have your experience, your results to date, what your clients are doing, what you've done yourself, and all the things you can bring up on a sales call to show your prospects how valuable you really are. So what you can do right now is make a list of value. Make a list of all of the things you've accomplished, all the things you're so proud of, and bring them up on your next sales call. The last issue you might be experiencing right now on your calls that prevents you from closing more sales is not assuming the sale. One of my best mentors once told me, Carolyn, you need to assume the sale. And I didn't understand what he was saying. What he meant by that was that you wanna go into a sales conversation assuming it's already a done deal. How can you do that, right? You don't wanna assume anything, but you literally need to assume the sale is already done to come across with that belief and that power that you need to get your prospect to a yes and investing with you. So how can you do that? Well, there's a couple of tips and tricks and things you can say on your sales calls that have you assume the sale in a very um, subtle manner that will make your prospect come along that journey with you and slowly move into a state where they're ready to buy. Things you can say are, when we work together, we're going to really get clear on your niche. We're also going to really install an amazing lead generation system. And when we work together, I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So when we work together is a phrase you can use that already assumes the sale. It already assumes that you're working with them. You're going to work with them and you will help them have results like all of your other clients have, like you've had in the past and the results they really want. Another way to assume the sale is by saying, in your opinion, do you think you would be able to lose that weight so much faster when we work together? Or in your opinion, do you think that having a team on your side will help you be so much more successful in your career? Or in your opinion, do you think having a mentor would help your relationship become so much more intimate and loving, for example, right? So ask them, in your opinion, do you think that working together would be of benefit? That assumes the sale and it actually goes one step further and it puts that question into your prospects uh, space and it has them tell you why working together is actually a great idea. And I have one more big warning for you. In the end, don't fight with your prospects. When they say things like, it's too much money, or I can't afford it right now, or I'm not sure it's for me, don't tell them, no, it's not a lot of money. No, it's the right time for you right now. No, you should be investing with me because A, B, C, and D. Don't fight them. Don't argue with them. Instead, align with them. 
Many people make this big mistake in the end to fight or, or work against their prospect and try to push them or convince them and it gets all awkward and it gets all weird in the end. And that's a surefire way to lose a sale. That's not where you want to be. Instead, you want to become their mentor, their guide, their friend and you want to align with them. So how do you do that? You can easily align with your prospects by saying, you know what, I understand. Many people say it's a lot of money. And I agree with you, it's a big investment. So let's talk about it. Are you open to having a conversation about the investment? Are you open to having a conversation with me right now about what you're feeling and what you're thinking about this program? Are you open to spending a little bit more time to figure out whether this is the right decision for you right now or not? Right? So align with them, agree with them, say, I respect that. I respect your opinion completely. As a matter of fact, I want to talk to you a little bit more about it right now, right? I completely agree with what you're saying. It makes complete sense to me what you're saying. So many people say the same thing and let's talk a little bit more about that. So you're not fighting them, you're not convincing them and you're not pushing against them. You're actually supporting them in their decision-making process, which leads to a much easier yes. As always, I would love to hear from you right now in the comments below. Let me know what you're hearing on your sales conversations. Let me know why you can't close them. Let me know what's going on so I can add even more value. I would love to have a conversation with you down below and let's have you close more deals and get more clients in your coaching business. As always, we have something really special for you. And today we have our sales guide for you. It's a sales guide that will explain the entire anatomy of a sales call and all the different phases you want to go through with your prospect to get them to say yes in the end. All you need to do right now is go down below in the video description. There is a link for you. Click on that link download your guide and make yourself an amazing script and an outline for your next discovery call. I promise with the tips in that guide, you'll be equipped to get your prospect to a natural yes and close a whole lot more clients for your coaching business. As always, stay focused on your goals, use the strategies I gave you today and go out there and close more deals. If you liked the episode, give me a like below, share it with your friends on social media, subscribe to our channel, and then come back again next week. Thanks for watching and take care. Do you want to build a successful online coaching business, but you're not sure how to get started and you're scared of wasting time and money on the wrong steps? Let me be your coach and show you the right steps to quickly launch your business, attract the perfect clients and multiply your income. To learn more, go to coachingbusinesstraining.com.